Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Kuhn and Schlenker. This game was played in Germany in 1959. White started with e4. e5. Knight to f3 attacking the pawn, and the black defended with the pawn. d4. Knight to d7. Bishop to c4, and black played h6. Perhaps to prevent knight to g5 or bishop to g5. Pawn takes pawn. D takes on e5. And we have reached the critical position of the game. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Move that comes to mind is knight to c3. It's not a bad move. Another one is a castling, but this is what white played in this game. Bishop takes on f7 check. King takes bishop. Why did white sacrifice the bishop? How would you continue now? Knight takes on e5 check. If knight takes knight, then queen takes queen. So black played king to f6. What now? White played queen to d5. I think that knight to c3 is also a good move in this position. We have queen to d5. Bishop to d6. Actually, black had a better move. But in a panic mode, he didn't see queen to e8. We have bishop to d6. This move looks good too, but it has a problem. How should white continue now? White played queen to f7 check. Black captured the knight and resigned. What did black see? How would you continue? Let's say that black didn't resign. We want to see checkmate. How would you checkmate black king? Well, I guess there is more than one way, but this seems to be the shortest way. Check king to d4 and there is checkmate in one queen to d5 checkmate interesting isn't it and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now